Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about suffixes. More specifically, the suffix is ly, full, er, less, and or. Let's dive into it. A suffix is a group of letters added to the end of a base word to make a new word. The first suffix we are going to be looking at is the suffix ly, which means in a certain way. Now we're going to look at how this suffix changes the meaning of base words. The first base word we're going to look at is the word neat. When I add the suffix ly to it, it makes the new word neatly. Because I added the suffix ly, the word now means in a neat way. If I add the suffix ly to the base word quick, it makes the word quickly which means in a quick way. And if I add the suffix ly to the base word loud, it makes the word loudly. Now again, because I added the suffix ly to the end of the word loudly, the word now means in a loud way. The next suffix we are going to look at is a suffix er, which means a person or thing that. This suffix also changes the meaning of a base word. Let's look at some few examples. Our first example we're going to look at is the word teach. By adding the suffix er, it makes the word teacher, which now means a person that teaches. In the base word bat, by adding the suffix er, I make the word batter, which now means a person that bats. And if I have the base word cheat and I add the suffix er to it, I make the word cheater. By adding the er to the word cheat, I change the meaning to mean a person that cheats. The next suffix we're going to be looking at is the suffix less, which means without. In the base word care, if we add the suffix less to it, we make the word careless. Because we added the suffix less to the word care, careless now means without care. In the base word fear, by adding the suffix less to it, we make the word fearless, which means without fear. And in the base word use, by adding the suffix less to it, we make the word useless, which means without use. The next suffix we will be looking at is the suffix or, which means a person or thing that. We have the word edit, and we add the suffix or to it. We make the word editor, which means a person that edits. In the base word visit, by adding the suffix or to it, we make the word visitor, which would mean a person that visits. And in the base word collect, by adding the suffix or, we change the word to collector. And by adding the suffix, we change the meaning to mean a person that collects. The suffix full means full of. Here are some ways that the suffix full changes the meaning of some base words. Our first example is the word color. By adding the suffix full to it, we make the word colorful. Because full means full of, the word colorful now means full of color. In the base word hope, by adding the suffix full, we make the word hopeful. Because full means full of, hopeful now means full of hope. In the base word help, by adding the suffix full, we make the word helpful. And since the suffix full means full of, the word helpful means full of help. Suffixes are word parts that are added to the back of a base word. They cannot stand on their own. When suffixes are added to a base word, it changes the meaning. You add the suffix ly to a base word, it changes the base word to mean in a certain way. The suffix er changes the word to mean a person or thing that. 
The suffix less changes the word to mean without. The suffix or changes the word to mean a person or thing that. And the suffix full changes the meaning to full of. Now, there are many different types of suffixes. We just looked at five examples today. Remember, suffixes are a great way to help you determine the meaning of unknown words. Thank you, everyone, for watching.